All right, I'm gonna to talk to you about our uh, bathroom and water procedures. First thing you need to know is uh, when we're doing our warm up, we don't go to the bathroom or get a drink. And that is because I want you to do the warm up. A lot of times you don't think the warm up is fun, so you don't wanna do the warm up and you try to get out of it by going to the bathroom or get a drink. So that's why I don't let you go during the warm up. When we're playing the activity, you can go anytime that you want to, totally fine. How this works. We got our stop sign here. If it says stop, that'll usually be when the warm-up is going on. Me or Coach Clapp are talking, giving instructions, and um, it's at the end of class. If we flip this thing around to go, then you're allowed to go to the restroom, and that is during the activity time. So if you see go, you can go to the restroom and get a drink. You don't even have to ask us. And for us to know that somebody is out and for everybody else to know that somebody is out during uh, the activity time, we've got our light switches here. There is one here for the boys and one for the girls. So only one person at a time can go to the restroom or to the bathroom. So it's very important when you leave, you don't have to ask, just go during our activity time if you see this go sign here. But if you have to go to the bathroom or get a drink, come over here. Flip the light switch on, that way we know that somebody is going out for, to the girls' bathroom. And then when they come back in the door, make sure that you flip it off so that way the next person knows they can go. Couple of things to remember, don't sit here and wait for the next person to go. Go out there, play, have fun, do your activity, and just keep an eye on it. Most times it's not really an emergency, especially for older kids. If you're in kinder and first, your rules are going to be a little different, and I'll tell you about those rules. Um, in class when we learn about them. This is how that works.